Hi, I'm Edwin Palmer, and welcome to Edwin's Book Corner. In this book review, I'm gonna inform you about Invisible. This is a novel James Patterson and David Ellis published in 2014. I will tell you what my opinion is of this book and whether it's worth a read. First, however, I'd like to give you the following summary of this novel. When FBI researcher Amy Dockery finds a missing link between hundreds of unsolved cases, no one believes her until the evidence is too compelling to ignore. Everyone thinks Amy Dockery is crazy, obsessed with finding the link between hundreds of unsolved cases. Emmy has taken leave from her job as an FBI researcher. Now all she has are the newspaper clippings that wallpaper her bedroom, and her recurring nightmares of an all-consuming fire. Not even Emmy's ex-boyfriend, field agent Harrison Books Bookman, will believe her that hundreds of kidnappings, rapes, and murders are all connected. That is, until Emmy finds a piece of evidence he can't afford to ignore. More murders are reported by the day, and they're all inexplicable. No motives, no murder weapons, no suspects. Could one person really be responsible for these unthinkable crimes? Strengths. I loved the following four things about this book. Firstly, this novel is a true page-turner. As the chapters are short, I quickly plowed through it. Its plot kept me in suspense the whole time. Secondly, I loved this book because it's not predictable. I thought the story would go a certain way, but it did not. It kept me guessing who the real murderer was. As I was reading through it, the ending astounded me. Thirdly, I enjoyed that the authors wrote it from two perspectives. You follow the investigation, but you also read passages from the killer's point of view. And that made me wonder who the murderer was, as you find out it's someone Emmy knows. Last but not least. I think the characters were well developed, as a result they felt like real people who I got to know well. Weakness and conclusion? My only point of criticism would be the fact that the co-authors could have made the protagonist more likable. I found Emmy rude, selfish, and unappreciative, among other things. Nevertheless, because it's such a great whodunit novel, Invisible is still an excellent book. I recommend both teens and adults to read it, especially if you're a thriller and detective fan. If you want YouTube to notify you that I've uploaded a new book review, you can subscribe to my channel, and you subscribe to my channel by clicking on the icon of my head as soon as it pops up on the screen. And if you want to watch all my book reviews in this series, you can do that by clicking on that link as soon as it appears on the screen. I'll be back next Friday with a new lesson in my Figures of Speech series. Until then, I only want to say three things. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and bye for now.